Okay, so I'm going to show you how to pipe data out of Actual. Um, the reason for this, uh, well, one, it's really easy, but uh, two, I've seen quite a few people doing it in a, uh, quite a dangerous way, um, and then Actual ends up getting the blame for it rather than the script that was calling it. So um, let's get into that. So first, let's get some data. Okay, so we've got some lines of help here. Now, let's say we want to grab the tags um, from this. So we could say, minus, uh, whoopsie. So let's uh, try it on the space. So what I'm doing there is I'm saying uh, the, we're using the space to separate it, and then we're going three uh, things in, and then that's going to give me the tags, but you also notice that it's grabbing this word off here because, well, hey, it's separated by a couple of spaces um, in there. There are lots of other ways that we could go about this. We could trim it down, but the problem's still the same. Um, now, you notice here that the color codes are still in there. Uh, we can get rid of those. Um, we could do uh, like so, and then that gets rid of those, uh, but it's still missing the point. Um, we've got all these different, uh, we'd still have to get rid of these lines, um, but most importantly, this is, this output is coming from a user template, and a user template um, is not guaranteed to stay the same. It will change as functionality comes and goes. Um, it's just a really unreliable way um, for you to uh, pipe data out. This is designed for users, not for computers. So, the way you actually go about it is like this. You say minus two string equals, and then you say what you want. So what do we want? We want to grab, oops daisy. So we want to go and have a look at what we've got available. I should have actually done this first. So now if I just uh, bring this back, we want to grab the tag, the tag string from that. So we'll do that like so. And then we want to say we want a single string. Like so. And now we have the tags. Now let's say you want to grab something else from there as well. So we're going to say uh, well, for the hell of it, we're just going to put in some little boops in here, and we're going to say name. So you can see here now that uh, we've got those parameters, and then what we've put in here has just come straight through. Let's go and change this very slightly. Say you wanted to, th to create a CSV, um, you could actually go And we will say category. Bop. My uh, downside with doing that was that description actually gave quite a lot of output. Um, so that confused me at first. I thought, have I seen another bug? No, I haven't. So uh, there we go. That's that's a much simpler output. Um, but you can see it's really, really easy. You get exactly the output you're wanting. It's in a nice, easy to process way. And uh, it will always be the same. No matter what happens to user templates, this will always work, it will always stay the same. At some point, um, I'll probably make it so you don't have to put in a single string at the end there, but it won't matter if you do. That's all there is to it. It's, it is really, really easy. Um, you just need to, uh, you just have to specify what you want and you'll then get it every time in a reliable way. Hopefully that's useful. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments down below, and I'll answer them as best as I can.